I love to dive into the ocean to capture many marine creatures. It is the best moment for me to reset everything and feel that I'm part of this planet. I have been working in the fields of many innovative technologies, such as semiconductors, wireless communications, IoT, AI, cyber securities. But in my free time, I am very primitive person, whom that love to dive into the ocean with my spears to catch fishes and eat them right away. So I'm like half cutting edge and half primitive person. So this experience brings me today's vision for this presentation. Let's think about 20 years from now, what will happen, what will it be possible, and how our lives will change. All human natures come from the ocean, and humans are special and different from other animals because they could use tools, they have rational feeling. Human also has a history of continuous revolutions to overcome problems time to time. To overcome problems, human creates a companies with a group of people who can work together, which brings much higher productivity than just one person tries. For example, there are many revolutions, such as industrial, logistic, monetary, internet, and telecommunications. And now there is another revolution will be coming up. This era is the tipping point where the biggest and the most significant revolution will happen. Let me call it as individuality revolution. Okay, let's, let me ask questions to you in this conference room today. How many of you who have a job which is directly related or connected from your dream when a child? Could you please raise your hands? Okay, thank you. I see like very few, like only maybe less than 10% of people. How about these questions? How many of you had a dream when you were a child? Could you raise your hands? Wow. So, that's a lot of people. Very interesting. There are like uh, very few people, I believe, choose a job based on their dreams. But many people choose the jobs based on salaries. I think that's kind of, don't you think it's strange? See, that's a limitation or reality of current capitalism or human civilizations. Many technologies can bring some innovation, such as internet, AI, IoT, blockchain, and many more will be changing our life from now on. But we can go forward much, much further. In this new world, you will be able to live the way you want. And your individuality will be much more important. Soon, you will be living in the era where three worlds coexist. Number one, analog. Number two, virtual. Number three, synaptic. 
let's compare three worlds with the way of communication. In the analog world, we use papers. In the virtual world, we use PC, smartphone, some smart devices. In the synaptic world, our brain can communicate directly to each other without words, letters, emails, or anything. All we need is our brain. And one can choose which world you want to live, depending on your preferred lifestyle. So this emerging future, I would like to call as the era of smart capitalism. In this future, you can live the way you want. Isn't it ideal for all of us? Is that right? But this future won't just come to us. In order to make this future possible, we need to choose to create this future. And when I say we, each one of us as individuals. So, what do we have to do to get started to make this future? It is you need to be more open about your personal data. Okay, maybe you might be a little bit nervous when you hear about personal data. I know there is a lot of privacy issues, and I know people are, have been overly sensitive about your personal data. However, imagine this. First, you give the permission to share your data outside of organization. The organization will use your personal data to create new services, which is much more attuned to your lifestyle. And finally, since this, your personal data application is fit into your lifestyle, you can get extreme benefit from the services, such as no waiting time, no paper to sign. Everything you do can be done instantly. But let me say that you do not have to disclose all of your personal data to outside. You have a right how many or what kind of your data to be open and to whom. So you have a right over your personal data and you have a right to choose. Instead of protecting all of your personal data, why not just you get your ownership into your personal data to create better world and better life? Once you become more open about your data, you will get some benefits like this. You can live anywhere, anytime, wherever you want. For example, you can choose your dream job and live with your family or parents at the same time. Let me share about my personal experience. I had a grandma who was in a critical stage uh, last week. Honestly, I really wanted to stay with her until she ends her life. But in the reality, was, it was impossible for me. I could not choose grandmas over my jobs. So that's also, one of the reality and the limitation of 
living and working environment at this moment. But this can be changed. If the world I told you today is going to be realized, I could have stayed with my grandma to see her off. Remember what I asked you about? Gap between your dream and your reality. Don't you think the new world will be more exciting if you become more open about your data and you choose the way you want to live? Data is everything. Personal data, each one of you, is the key. Let's dive into the ocean and into the individual data-driven world. Thank you very much.